friends. Um, Jerry's Artorama right now is giving out an Amsterdam blue with $50 of uh, Old Holland paint purchase. And I happened to just be on the side, I think the day it went live, just by accident. And I usually like to get these little uh, limited edition paints. Um, this one, unlike their previous limited edition sapphire blue, which weighs more for some reason, this one actually has the pigment info on it, which the other one did not have. Which I guess they're listening to people that are like, hey, we don't know what's in this. And yeah. This one is a limited edition, it says so in the bottle, and it's listed as a B-series with a... So I'm going to mispronounce every single one of these pigments. In Danthrone, Thylocyanine, Deoxide, the first two are blue pigments, and the third one is a violet pigment, and the closest thing I could find in Old Holland's list of paints that have even half of those pigments at the same time was Old Holland Blue Violet, which I just don't happen to have because I can only have so much paint in, in my hoard at one time. But uh, PB60 is in Old Holland Delft Blue as a as their only pigment. PB15 is in, like Blue Lake and Old Holland Blue and like those general ones. And the violet is just Deoxine Violet. Um... Yeah, so it's interesting that all of these are in, like, one at the same time. I'm curious if it's anything similar to Old Holland Centennial Blue. This I got on eBay, and according to the listing, it was given out in 2015 in New York's Penn Station for some reason. Not 2015, 2005. For some reason, it was long before I was starting to paint, so this has no pigment information on at all. And the bottle is half the size. I have another video of that because you can't get this anymore either. But the pit, but the little swatch at the top is kind of similar. So I figured I'd compare them side by side. What I'll also compare this thing to is Ultramarine Blue as a baseline. Just so we know what it is. It's not going to be the same. I'm telling you that right now. But I don't have one that has all of these pigments together. Nor do I have paints that individually have the pigments to mix them up. But we'll also compare it to Prussian Blue from Windsor & Newton, because that's the only Prussian Blue I got, and I think it might, maybe, uh, maybe be close, I don't know. We'll figure it out. And I got my little, my little swatch with a little thing to check the opacity, and we are going to get right into it, and we're going to mix for a little titanium white. I'm trying to use entirely Old Holland for this comparison, because mixing and matching with other brands might not be the, the best thing going. But we got some, some Amsterdam Blue, this brand new bottle that I haven't opened yet, and I'm going to move that over there. We are going to squeeze some out from the side. That is a nice dark blue, yes. Um, I already got some on the cap. I am very good at what I do. I'm going to put that on the side. I'm going to try and do this. A nice old Holland is stiff, and I think I erroneously said one time that it's because of beeswax, and I don't know why it's stiff. People keep correcting me and changing me, and then they correct me with different information. I don't know. Old Holland is stiff, and that is a dark, dark blue. Yeah, might be good for denim and things like that. Gonna put out some Titan White too. Yeah, that's good enough. That's fine. <clears throat> I can close this cap again. Also, we're gonna put some over here. This is a very thin little layer, but hey, that has some good coverage. Yeah, can't see the black through that at all, but it's also a very dark pigment, so. We're gonna see, yep, there's the violet coming through. This is definitely tint some more, little purpley. Definitely tints purpley, but we expected that from the, from what violet is in here again? Deoxine violet, yeah. So it tints more, tints a little bit more purpley. The coverage is pretty good. The shadow from my phone is making filming things difficult, but that's what we're doing. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to put some other colors side by side. My nose is a little stuffy. I have a bit of a tiny... 
I get cold. Cleaning up the pallet now. Cleaning up the pallet now. Got a cleaning up a plastic pallet knife is significantly more difficult than a metal one, and I don't know why. Garbage noises. Okay, now I'm really curious, first of all, about Centennial Blue, and if it's if I can get it open. Yeah, there we go. This is much older paint as well, like it's from 2005, but it's not like vintage vintage, it just... I think you might be able to get uh, Centennial Blue on eBay still, probably from the same guy that apparently just had a lot of it. Maybe they found like an old box or whatever. Close, please. I have problems closing tubes. Is this the same thing? No, that is not the same thing. But we're gonna... I can see right off the bat, that is a different color. Okay, so I have learned that that is a different freaking color. This does not have the purple pigment. Okay. Got a... That's fine. <laughs> yeah, that is a blue. That does not have the purple pigment. Well, it was good to compare them side by side. So now I have it for my own information. That Centennial Blue and Amsterdam Blue are not the same. Amsterdam tints more purple. Okay. Gonna clean off the palette knife. Gotta clean off the palette knife. I'm trying to clean off this plastic palette knife. Okay, where are we going? We're going with the Ultramarine this time. And then we'll wrap it up with the Prussian. This is not how Old Holland gave me this bottle. As soon as I got it home, I accidentally dropped it on the floor, and that's how it... That's what happened. That was me. That was not Old Holland. Don't blame Old Holland or Blick or whatever stores I got my stuff from for my mistakes. Ultramarine is going to be a completely different color, because that's how pigments work. Ultramarine's a little bit more transparent, too. But Yeah, you can definitely see that through it. Okay. Some Titan White. Personally, I'm more into the paints that aren't as stiff, that have a more buttery smoothness. But Old Holland is supposed to be the best of the best. So I gotta give him a try once in a while. And anything that says limited edition on it, my tiny goblin brain says that I must have it immediately. So <laughs> that's what happens with that. But now we have a baseline for the ultramarine blue against the Amsterdam blue. And yeah. I'm pretty sure if you mix just a little bit of violet and you might get the same thing. Now we clean off the palette knife and then we go with the, I do not have Prussian blue from Old Holland. So we're going to go with modern Windsor and Newton, which isn't my favorite thing to work with, but it's, it's what we got. So yeah, we got some Prussian blue, which is definitely, this does not have the violet tint anyway, but we're here, so we might as well, and I'm going to move this just, yeah. yeah. Prussian blue's pigment is PB27, yeah. Ultramarine blue's pigment is, where is it? It's synthetic ultramarine PB29. Like, everything has a good number for it. Prussian blue. Gonna put it on the... It would help if I could actually get it on the line. There we go. There I go. Just like a little... You can definitely still see the line through it, but... Yeah. Got some Titan white. Gonna mix in some Titan white. I have a lot. I have an entire uh, little bucket of just titanium white. Because every time there's a free titanium white offer, I just do it. <laughs> yeah, Prussian blue is still no violet involved. Yeah. Prussian blue is good for denim. I've definitely painted some denim jeans. Not pictures of denim jeans. Not actually on denim jeans with Prussian blue. But yeah, 
This is the Amsterdam blue you can get at Jerry's Artorama right now at $50 of Old Holland Purchase. A lot of colors are like $45, $50 right off the bat. So if you just want to get one tube of a higher end color, you can do that and go away with it. Um, like for a million or something. Um, this is the Centennial blue that you can probably get on eBay somewhere. Um, if I find it, I will link it in the description. I make no promises. This is the Ultramarine Blue from Old Holland. This is Prussian Blue from Windsor & Newton. Just a little... Amsterdam Blue does have violet pigment in it, and it definitely tints more purple. But maybe that's what you want in your life. And here's like the little... It's definitely a lot more opaque than transparent, because the black doesn't come through at all like it does with Ultramarine. But yeah, we got Amsterdam Blue. I'm just gonna show you the bottle one more time. That's how. That's what we got here. Here's more of the pigment information again. It has all the little, little things that a normal bottle got. So yeah, Jerry's Autorama, not sponsored. I just happened to shop there. Thank you, everybody. Have a good day. Happy New Year. Goodbye.